Okay, so I decided to do a bonus video today because today would have been my cousin's 39th birthday, but he passed away years ago. And he's the son of my Uncle Bobby and Aunt Barbara, who are just two of my most favorite people in the world. They're just hilarious and just the best people you'd ever want to meet. So I'm going to do this video for them mainly because I know they get a kick out of this. So me and their two kids, Michael, who's my cousin who passed away, and Beth, who is thankfully still still alive and well, um, we were all teens. Beth might have been grown by then. She might have been 18, but yes, she was because that, that, that's a big part of the story. So we decided to walk to the video store in, in Oakland, Tennessee and rent some movies. So we get to the video store. Something you should know, my Uncle Bobby and Aunt Barbara are probably the most Christian people you will ever meet if you ever meet them in your life, they're, they're just every thing they do, say, live, they're just Christian. And they're the kind of Christians where them being that Christian just makes them that much more good-hearted people, not judgmental people. They're just giving and loving and just great people. But... Very Christian. That's important. So we go to the video store, and we see, I think, I think we got five movies we saw that we liked. Three of them, acceptable in such a Christian household. Two of them, not so much. The two we got that weren't that Christian were Demonic Toys and Howard Stern's Private Parts. But we're... You know, we're teens. We're brilliant. We get Beth to rent them because she's the only one old enough to rent them. We decide we'll take the movies in. We'll hide the two that we don't want them to know that we have. And we'll show them the three that that they wouldn't care that we watch. So we go in. Hey, look, we got three movies. Da, da, da. And we watch some of the three until they go to bed. Then we break out the movies we really want to see. Thing is, we watch private parts all the way through, mind you. This this will come into play later. We watch um, private parts and demonic toys, and we just fall asleep. We don't think, hey, maybe we should have those two again so they don't see them when they wake up. We think, ah, they'll never look over there. They'll just see movie boxes and think, oh, that's the movies they rented. We weren't so lucky. So when me and my cousin Michael wake up, my Uncle Bobby says, Hey, let me take you in here and see, show you what I found this morning. So we go in his bedroom, and he opens his drawer to his dresser and pulls out the two movies that we had not told him we rented. We're busted. And, um... He decides, this movie, Private Parts, let's take a look at this and see uh, see what exactly you, you guys were up to watching. So, I remember from watching Private Parts, it doesn't get raunchy until the scene where Howard Stern goes home with this woman and they get in the bathtub together. So, I, I go, I, 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 didn't, I didn't see the whole movie. I, I just saw it until um, Howard Stern... Um, goes home with this woman and then I fell asleep. We fast forward through that whole movie and my Uncle Bobby sees all the raunchiness in this movie and I'm just like, oh, I'm going to be in trouble. He's going to tell my parents and I'm just going to get in so much trouble. And during going through the movie and stuff, I had this watch that I'd just gotten and my Uncle Bobby was like, hey, that's a nice watch. I'm like, do you want it? Because I didn't want to get in trouble. I'm trying to bribe my Uncle Bobby. Who would never take a bribe or take my watch because he just wouldn't. He'd be more likely to buy me one just like it for Christmas or family day as they call it because 
now my Uncle Bobby's Jewish somehow. He's not Jewish. He just does all the Jewish holidays and, and practices Christianity through Jewish traditions. So, me and my cousin Michael endure this. Watching on Fast Forward, one of the dirtiest movies that's not porn ever made. With the most Christian man I've ever met in my life. But, being the funny, awesome guy my Uncle Bobby is, they had an intercom system to talk to the upstairs. Because my Uncle Bobby, he's been in the wheelchair his whole life. And we'll get into that another day. He's been in the wheelchair his whole life. Never slowed him down. So, he's got an intercom that goes upstairs where my cousin Beth is sleeping. And to wake my cousin Beth up from her sleep, this is what my Uncle Bobby says on the intercom. He says, Beth, get up and be sure to wash your private parts. What a class act, right? 